San Francisco's tech community embraced cashless transactions. So some businesses went from accepting alternatives to cash to rejecting cash payments altogether. The San Francisco Board of Supervisors intervened, passing an ordinance requiring businesses accept cash. I always say cash is king. And I'm like, if you have cash, you should be able to go anywhere you want. Now, Congress is following the city's lead. The Payment Choice Act would require brick-and-mortar businesses accept payments made in dollars and cents. Consumer Actions, Linda Sherry. I think that right now, this topic of cashless businesses and the use of cash is really very interesting to people. And I'm hoping that the bill does move at some point soon. The FDIC says a quarter of U.S. households are part of a vulnerable population that is unbanked or underbanked. Now, for millions, that means they have no way to pay except cash. And even many who can't imagine being part of a vulnerable population can land in that category. When Hurricane Ian hit Florida, many ATMs were swamped, broadband went out, and cash was suddenly king. Dr. Scarlett Heinbuch is a payment risk expert with the Atlanta Federal Reserve Bank. In times of crisis, such as in a war or hurricane or whether it's man-made or a natural disaster, the go-to for people is cash. Heinbuch has written several pieces about the Payment Choice Act for the Atlanta Fed blog. The Federal Reserve doesn't comment on pending legislation, and so the, the Fed does not take a stand. But the Fed is aware and watching. What the Fed does do, though, is look at uh, these policies and these issues from a holistic viewpoint and try to understand how people's needs in the payment system on both sides, whether it's the consumer or the business, how they are building those relationships so that everyone can succeed in an economy that truly does work for everyone, whether you're providing a business or wanting to use that business. The smooth and equitable running of the economy. And for many, that choice is privacy, which often means cash. Again, Consumer Actions, Linda Sherry. When you use your debit card or your credit card, um, these companies are tracking what you're buying and using that information to pitch products to you and send you emails and other communications about um, things they're trying to sell to you. So a lot of people would rather not have that uh, happen to them.